The 10 Greatest April Fool's Pranks of All Time. Let's talk about that. I'm Josh. I'm Gabe. And we're from Indianapolis, Indiana. Good mythical morning. Good mythical morning. Unfortunately, it's not as good as it could be because Link's not here today. You know, I threw my back out. He actually threw his front out. It had something to do with his pectoral muscles and his stomach muscles. It was, it's ugly. He's walking funny. Ha! April Fool! Nothing wrong with my front, my back, my up, my down. Here's the sad thing. We did the same exact joke. <coughs> last April Fool's. That's the best that we can come up with. Happy April Fool's Day. Uh, do make sure you check out uh, the new video on our main channel that uh, just went out. Really excited about that one. <laughs> Go over there, but here, watch this first, and then then click over there to uh, youtubecom slash and link. You know what's up, people? Okay, listen. Yeah, no more April Fools. We're not good at that. But what we are good at is telling you about the ten greatest April Fools prankicuses of all time. I'm getting these even because people point out things like, "Oh, you're the whole the string, time. Your strings are uneven." I wish they would have been even. Um, all right, so here, here's what we're gonna do. Instead of just telling you, because I do have a list of the ten greatest April Fools' Day pranks of all time. Let's make it a game. Let's make it more interesting. I'm good Let's at games. Make it true false. I'm good at true false. You have. I'm gonna tell you an April Fool's Day prank, and yeah. you will tell me if true it really happened or false it was never really a prank. But it could be in the future. It could and be this is weird because they're all pranks. So they were all false, but some of them were truly false, and some of them are just false false. false. So some of them are technically true if you think so about it. So just say true false or false false. I really, if you think about this from an existential standpoint, I cannot be wrong. I don't think of things from an existential standpoint because I can't spell it. Here we go. Uh, true, true. Five of these are wrong. Five of these are false. True, true, or false, false. True, false, true, or false, false, or false, 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 false. The Danish parliament, you can play along at home, people. I mean, do I even have to tell you that? Come on, get out your paper and pencil. Keep score. The Danish parliament announced that all dogs in the city would have to be painted white by law. <laughs> false, false. Nope. False, true. Really? 1965, the Politiken, a Copenhagen newspaper, reported that the Danish parliament had passed a new law requiring all dogs to be painted white. The purpose of this, it explained, was to increase road safety by allowing dogs to be more easily seen at night. People believe this. They started painting their dogs white. There was an outrage. Hmm. Dogs, I didn't know dogs was, were harmed. I didn't know it was a parliament. I thought it was a dictatorship over there. That's why I got that one wrong. <clears throat> the BBC reported that Big Ben, in order to stay up to date, was going to turn digital. It has hands, it's, it's analog. Big Ben. True, false. That's correct. In 1980, the BBC reported that Big Ben, in order to keep up with the times, <laughs> was going to be given a digital readout. The announcement received a huge response from listener, listeners shocked and angered by the proposed change. What do I get for this, by the way? What am I playing for? Bragging rights. Just kidding. April Fools, you get nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, true false or false false. In 1996, an email message from Time Warner specified that all email in the continental U.S. would be shut down for one day due to server maintenance. It's in 1996, so you might have fallen for this. You were you false, were, false. That's right. Never happened. Just totally falsified that one. You sniffed something fishy on that one. That's huh? right. In 2001, USA Today, that's a publication, the newspaper. We were in that. Yeah, we they had, had an article about us. Heard about it. They published a story that life had been discovered on Neptune and that it had four hands and squid eyes citing the Hubble telescope for the discovery. People will believe anything. False, false. Well, it's obviously false, but you really think it was false, false? You don't think USA Today would do that? They're a journalism. They're, journal they're journalists. They're, so is that Danish 
journalism too, and they did it. Nope, it's false, false, never happened. Sorry to get your hopes up. Lovers of April Fool pranks, that's not one of the greatest of all times. Is this next one? Probably. BBC, BBC film crews released a video revealing the discovery of flying penguins who would journey south to, to South America during the winter. I didn't even listen, true false. Well, you should listen, dude. I'm just, you know, because the chances that a, you would have done three false falses in a row, given that there's total, I'm just, you know, this is where my mathematical nope. brain. False, false. You can't change it on the fly, that's true false. Uh, all right, so I April fooled you, it is true false. Yeah. No, nope, I'm April fooling you on that, it's false, false, just kidding. Yeah, the BBC, I mean, it's one of the greatest pranks of all time, right? They, they convinced their listeners that penguins could fly. They had video to support the evidence. Really? Video with the evidence. I guess it supported it. Okay. The city of Pennsylvania shut down all roads that had bridges on April 1st, 1982, citing safety laws and fear of trolls that hid underneath them as the cause. The city of Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania is a state. False, false. <laughs> Jason wrote that one. <laughs> I just read it. That's right. Good job, Jason. Uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Let's, the city of Pittsburgh shut down okay. all roads. False, false. <laughs> okay, that's right. <laughs> the Madison Capitol Times solemnly announced that the Wisconsin State Capitol building lay in ruins following a series of mysterious explosions. Whoa. True, false. It's kind of violent. You think that you think the Madison Capitol Times would talk about a the Capitol building exploding? Yes. It's, it was weird and weird and violent. True, violent. false. It can never happen now. That, I mean, that was, I don't know when that was. Yeah. 1985, I think. Who knows? It was not written here. Uh, the explosions were attributed to large quantities of gas. Blah, 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 blah. blah. How many false falses have there been so far? No, you shouldn't know that. Three or four? The April 1985 issue of Sports Illustrated. That was a swimsuit issue contained a story about a new rookie pitcher who could throw a 168 mile per hour fastball. True, true false. Well, why do you say true? Because I read that up, that issue. I remember that, I was like, whoa, this is amazing. Sid Finch could, tr could throw a 168 mile per hour fastball with pinpoint accuracy. This was 65 that mile actually, per hour faster than the previous record. That actually was true, true. That, it's some, I don't know how they got on your list. I no, heard about that guy. No, it's impossible. I read about him in Sports Illustrated. 65 miles faster than the previous record. It, it's just, it's, it just yeah, can't happen. Ludicrous. Uh, great rapper, by the way. Sid it's who? Wordplay. No, ludicrous. Oh. Um, a Florida man once presided over his own funeral after he faked his death two days previously. He dressed up as a minister and gave the service. That's totally true, false. Nope, false, false. But you should do that, dude. <laughs> you should totally do it. Okay, it's false, false. There's only one. There's no more false, false. Or there's a. Is there one more false, false? Don't just, just, just go with the flow, dude. The okay. Taco Bell Corporation. You know they make tacos and bells. Yep. They took out a full-page ad that appeared in six major newspapers on April first, nineteen ninety-six, announcing it had bought the Liberty Bell and was renaming it the Taco Liberty Bell. True faults. What makes you say that? I remember it. No, you don't. I was a junior in high school. Hundreds of outreach citizens called the National Historical right? Park in Philadelphia where the bell was housed to express their anger. Yep, totally true false prank. Yep. Way to go, Taco Bell, yeah. or Taco Bell, depending on where you're from. Do you say Taco Bell or do you say Taco Bell? You mean Taco Bell or Taco Bell? Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Yeah, Taco Bell. 1992 broadcast of NPR's Talk of the Nation revealed that Richard Nixon, in a surprise move, was running for president again. His new campaign slogan was, I didn't do anything wrong, and I won't do it again. <laughs> How many more are there? Is it true, false, or false, false? False, false. Nope, mm. true, false. NPR totally did that. They're such pranksters at NPR. Uh, 1978, newspaper in Washington, D.C. published an article that the secret laboratory of Abraham Lincoln had been discovered. Inside it were plans for a helicopter, a computer, and a machine that made your bed for you. Oh, that Abraham Lincoln? 
He was an he was not an inventor. What? Well, that's the joke, dude. But did the joke really? It would happen? have been a good joke because he wasn't an inventor. He was a man of truth. He wasn't a man of. He invention. was a wrestler. Yeah. It, was it a was the, did the prank really happen or no, not? No, false, false. That's right. False, false. All right. Burger King. True, another true false. Published a full page advertisement in the in USA Today, announcing the introduction of a new item to their menu: the left handed Whopper. Especially designed for the 32 million left-handed Americans. True, false. Sounds like a great thing to do with Burger King. True, false. False, false. Nope. It was a right-handed Whopper. April Fool's. True, false. You were right. It really was a prank. There was no left-handed Whopper, though. I'm just want to. I just want to clarify. And finally, Rhett, for the win. What do I win? Bragging rights. April Fool's. You win nothing. I've already told you that. Uh. On March 31st, 1989, thousands of motorists driving on the highway outside of London looked up to see a flying saucer land in a local field. Who reported this? Motorists driving on the highway outside of London. Hold on, but this is not even a prank. This is just like motorists saw aliens. <laughs> the aliens weren't real if the prank was real. True thoughts. That's right. Many of them pulled to the side of the road. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The stunt combined. The saucer turned out to be a hot air balloon that had been specially built to look like a UFO by Richard Branson, the 36-year-old chairman of Virgin Records. Oh, he's a what prankster. a prankster. There you go. Now, what are we going to do for, for April Fool's Link this year besides, besides that little thing we did at the beginning? I don't know. We can, like... Uh, Pull like minor pranks all day long, and we can be like April Fool. Rock paper scissors to the death. Dun dun dun. Okay. No, oh, to the death, man. Come on, that's a tie. Oh. Beat you. That was easy. I thought I was gonna have to take the rock and like hit you in the face, and I would have done that. Not that I've ever punched you in the face, or maybe I have. 